we're not really worried about that car right now, John. Okay, why are you asking about that car when we're working on this? Because this is the real fucking situation. It's a big giant car, it's white, and it's got major fucking dents throughout the vehicle, dude. There you go. Okay, John's over here, Volkswagen John's with us today. And he's asking about uh, the car behind me, which we're not going to look at because we're not working on that today. What we are working on over here at DIY Auto School is this 1962 Buick Riviera. Now, this is just a makeover, you might call it. Uh, the owner's mother bought this brand new. She passed away. He owns it now. It was over there at the chicken coop up there at uh, Daryl's Automotive Repair, Oliver's Automotive at the chicken coop. Uh, uh, what do we call that? Automotive repair shop. Uh, redneck style. Daryl put a brand new motor and transmission in it. When I say brand new, I mean rebuilt. And got it running to specs. And then now we're going to go ahead and paint it. So, uh, I don't know if we're going to remove all the panels. We possibly will because that's the way my friend Pete likes to do it. Is to remove the panels and paint instead of leave everything on it. Because this is actually going to be a color change. We're going to go back to a silver beige color and uh, do away with this white. But what the real situation is here at DIY Auto School today is when you're working on a white car or a light colored car like this and it's a classic car such as this or possibly a newer car, um, it gets caught into a hailstorm, let's say, like this fucking cocksucker. Uh, and it's got dents all over the car and you can't see them. You see what I'm saying? If you look at the car right here, you can't see any of the dents because it's a white car. And what my friend Pete's gonna do today is he's gonna show you how to find all these imperfections and these dents. So you're going to get them all out. You're gonna have a nice professional paint job when you get done. And you're gonna be proud of what you're doing to it. Um, when you're working on a car like this, especially this big long monster that this thing is, as you can see, uh, there's gonna be dents on this car that you won't find until you get it in the paint booth and start spraying the paint. And that's when it really sucks, because once you put the paint on it, then you're thinking to yourself, motherfucker, I can't fucking believe there's a ding right there. And those little dings that we're going to be finding on this, if we don't get them all out, they're going to show up like a sore thumb, because we know how people are these days. All right, people are uh, very, very cruel people. They're haters. And if you have an imperfection in your car and you don't know how to take it, you're going to be embarrassed to take it out because that one fucking guy might say, oh my God, look, you forgot to get this right here. Oh, gee, look at that little dust speck right there. Ooh, who did this job? You see what I'm saying? And we all know that when that happens to you, that is because of one reason. They are jealous that they don't have that car. They're jealous because they're driving a fucking Yugo or a uh, Nissan Sentra 1980 model circa fucking car and they can't afford to have a car like this or this might have been their dream car and they're jealous that you have it. So if you go to a car show with your car, don't fucking get intimidated by these people. The only reason that they find imperfections in there is because they're there to do that. That's their job. That's their job in life to destruct you, to make you feel like shit and to make you think that your car is a pile of shit. It's a fucking joke, but it's true. Shit happens. Let's get on with the lesson, and I'm going to show you what's going on. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more.
So as you can see right here, you can see that the hood is open. And what I'm doing, I'm using that light. To see the light now, when I move the light around, you can see the dents in the hood. And if you look real close as I move the light, you're going to see that there's not just one or two dents. There's dents all over this hood. Um, this is still a good usable hood because it's a 62, not a 2002 or 2012. So we have to fix all those. So what I did to find all the dents in my hood is I went ahead, basically lifted it up, and as you can see as I move it, you can see the light from the ceiling um, will catch the reflection. The reflection of it catches the dents, and I can find them very carefully. And then now if we look at the hood from the back side of it, you can see where all of our dents are that we found using the light as our guide tool to uh, create a sense of, uh, of uh, a useful tool. Uh, the tool of light is very important when working with this. But I want you to also pay attention that as you look at it this way and you follow the light, you can't even see the dents at all. So we just learned one thing, that using the light rays of, uh, let's say, the roof in my shop, right there, is a good tool to use. And if you have a light uh, source such as this, this is something that you would want to use to find dents in the hood or the upper part of your car. But then, when we get to the rest of the vehicle, such as the sides of the car, using the light on this type of a vehicle is not as easy. As you can see as we go down the vehicle, you can't see any dents in it, and it looks like it's nice and straight. That's due to the fact that this is a white colored car. It's a bright color and it doesn't show any imperfections. So we got Volkswagen John over here today, VW John, and we're gonna let him try to camera guy as my friend Pete shows you how to find these imperfections without using a light, such as our ceiling light, to find little dents and what have you to make sure that you have a great looking paint job. So you heard what's going on over here. We got a 62 Buick, it's white. What's your opinion on that? It's really hard to find every dent. It's very, very hard to find Until you dense. find that last coat of clear. That's right. Once you get the clear on it, you're going to have an imperfection. And you're going to be pissed off at yourself. And right. all you're going to do is worry about taking it to the car show and somebody else is going to find it. Yeah. I mean, you can go over the car 10, 20 mm -hmm. times and you're still going to find a dent. That's right. Time. So what you're going to do is you're going to camera guy while I show everybody out here how to do this, the easy, simple way to find our dents. Okay. So the first thing we got to do is if John comes over here, this is the key right here to finding all the little unnecessary dents that we don't want in our paint job. And what this is, this is very cheap, inexpensive spray paint that I bought over at the Corporational Hardware Store that costs less than 99 cents. I think it's 97 cents a can. All right, very quick, fast drying paint. It's flat black. What's that, John? Lacquer. Lacquer. And I am going to go ahead and do it on this section right in here. I'm gonna show you how this works. Um, what the real deal is, come on over here because we're going to have backlight. Okay, so we're going to be working on this area because we had some backlight issues from our doors being open. It's summertime, hotter than hell, and very fucking humid. So what you want to do, and there's some people out there that probably already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my paint, and I haven't washed the car, but it's still got dirt on it. And I am going to go ahead and put a guide coat on the car. Do you see what I'm doing, John? How many cans of that paint do you use on the barge like this? On a car like this, probably take about a half a can. Now, I wouldn't uh, suggest to do this with your glass and all your chrome in it. This is something that you would want to do, or you're going to get it all over your chrome, then you're going to have a fucking mess. So, uh, this is for a situation that if you're going to do an overall paint job and you want to find it. Now, you can go back and tape all your chrome off with two inch tape and then put your guide coat on uh, if you really want to, if you're not going to remove your uh, chrome. But it's very important that you make sure you cover as much space as possible. And then, of course, if you're working on a dark colored car, let's say black, for instance, or a real dark maroon, you want to get white instead of black. You see what I'm saying? So let's say that uh, we just did all this to the whole car. Uh, I'm out of paint, so we're going to have to keep proceeding on our movement. We got two ways that we can find our, our dance. And the way that we're going to find them is by sanding. Now we can hand sand block this or we can use a DA with uh, 180. You don't want to use 80 grit because it's going to take the paint off and then you're really going to be lost. 
So let me get a DA sander. I'm going to put some 180 on it. And then I'm going to go over this very quickly to remove our guide coat. And wherever there's paint left on our car, is there's going to be a dent. So we're going to take our DA sander, just like so. I'm going to use 220. And sometimes it's even easier and better to use 320. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DA sander. that we found. So without using the light, and now we're using a guide coat, what we have found by guide coating this and then sanding it, we got a dent right here. Can you see that? Over here, John. I want you to see the color of that. See the difference in color? Okay. And then if you come over here, you can see there's a chip right here. There's a couple chips right here. All right. And then we're going to move on down, and it looks really clean right here until we get into this area here, which I over da but look right here, look what we got right here. You see that? Alright, that's a chip in the paint. Now we keep on moving down, now watch this. Do you see that round circle right there? What's that telling us, John? There's a dent. That's a dent. Okay, so what we've done here, we have created us a uh, module of uh, visual uh, likings to say, I can find my dents now. Now, I told you in the beginning before I sprayed this that I didn't wash the car. There was a reason for that, all right? And the reason for that is because if the paint misses that dent, the dirt's not going to. So, you can see right here, if John comes right there, you, go, you can see that this car is pretty dirty. You see what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to leave the dirt on there, but we're going to go ahead and put a nice thick guide coat on this deck lid. And this is how you want to apply it, just nice and quick. You want to cover every surface. We're not going to paint the whole car using a spray can. All right. It's been done. Even though it's been done, and I'm pretty sure my little Volkswagen was sprayed with a spray can. So what I'll do now, instead of using my DA, this is another situation, is I'm going to use a nice flat block. This block is designed for DA paper. It's a handy block if you don't have one, John. You see how it's curved and it's got just the right angle to put a piece of DA sandpaper on it? Okay, and then what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and hand sand this. Now watch what happens. So what we're doing here is we're hand sanding it because we might have a small compressor at home. We don't have a big giant compressor that's going to let us DA this whole car to find dents. So I'm taking my DA sand, I mean my hand sander with 220 again. And I'm going to go over the whole surface, and you're going to start seeing these imperfections and dents start popping up. And I'm not using any light. I'm just sanding down the guide coat to get her done. So, if we come over here, John, we can see, I want to show you this, get my magic marker again. And as you see, I already circled it before I did it, but there's an imperfection, here's another dent, here's a big dent, and then I want you to watch real close here. Do you see this little spot right here? Okay. That little spot right there is a dent. We would not have found that without using our guide coat. Here's another one right here. See how it looks like a circle? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about this right up here, Pete? That's a chip. A chip that's it. a chip in the paint. Okay, so that's chips in the paint. But what we're looking for, we're looking for circles. All right, anything that represents a circle. Okay, here's a dent right here. It's kind of an oblong circle. Of course, here's one right here. Do you see that? Are you watching through there? Yeah. Okay. Here's another one I circled before we did this. So before I did this, I already went around the roof of the trunk, and I already circled some of them. 
not knowing that these ones were even here. Do you see what I'm saying? So using the guide code to find your dance on a vehicle like this or a vehicle that you own that you want to repaint that you know for a fact has been in a hail damage or has other damage that's hidden or the car's been painted before is a very, very good idea. John had a question. What was it, Dave? Well, sometimes, uh, since you don't have the guide code over everything, right? Uh, you can sometimes see from the gloss. On the you can see from the gloss, but the real deal is this car, if you look at the roof there, we're on the camera car, there's no gloss on it. Right. This is cheap, inexpensive, white acrylic enamel paint. I'm presuming that this was painted at Mako, possibly, or maybe even Earl Shibes. Because as I'm sanding it, I don't know if you noticed here, the paint's coming right off. Uh, it came off very really quickly, yes. So this is a very cheap, inexpensive paint job. If the car does have a high gloss, like John said, I would be able to walk around it and use the light as my tool to find my small dents. Well, what I'm saying is that once it's sanded and it's dull, it's still going to be shiny in the dents. There you go. So what John's trying to say is if you're working on a car such as our brand new Jeep right here, you would be able to go ahead and take a DA sander or block sand it without putting a guide coat on it because the gloss of the clear would show your dents just like our guide coat did for us. Okay, so before we go, I'm going to show you uh, one of the reasons you don't want to wash your car and if you don't have any guide coat paint and you don't want to go buy any because you're a cheap cocksucker and you think 97 cents is a million dollars to you, what you can do, all right, while the surface is dirty, once again, take your hand block or your DA sander. Okay, and then when you sand your surface down using a dirty surface like you see me doing, watch here, let's see if we can get this one to... Okay, see, it's not working right now, John. Okay, I don't even see any more dents on this. We're going to have to put a guide coat on that to double check. Come on up here where I know there's some dents. Watch this. If you can stand right there. Okay, I know there's a dent right here, so we haven't put a guide coat on. Let's go ahead and sand it without a guide coat and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. You need to use a fucking guide coat. Alright, look, I can't see where my dent is. Okay, come on over here. Here it is right here. But do you see how hard I got to sand to find that? Look. Okay. There it is right there. Can you find it, John? Put your finger on that. No, you should be able to see it. What are you doing? I'm just feeling it. You can't feel it. No, it's not enough to feel. You can't feel that, dude. Okay, but look what we got here. What is that right there? Dent, right? That's a dent, dude. That is a dent. See how it made a circle right here? Look at this. There's our dent. So this is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, finding the dents on the 62 Buick, showing you how to do it. We just learned that even having not having a guide coat, you're not going to find them. Uh, I got to go take it easy. I got a lot of dents to find on here. And by the hood, look at this hood, I got a lot of body work to do as well. Can you see all those? That's fucking crazy. I guarantee you the top of these fenders are going to have dents in them. That's pretty wild, dude. We got to go, John. Anything else you got to say? Here, let me have the camera. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else you got to say, John? This is the most important part. The prep job the is prep the most job, important job. You know, and, and it's not just the prep job, it's the beginning. Right. Okay. Every, every flaw here is going to show. That's so. right. This is the foundation. If you want a great paint job, you got to start with a good. You got to start story. off at the beginning, doing it right, or it's going to look like shit. Right. All right. All it takes is one, a uh, couple little imperfections. You get these cocksuckers at these car shows that bitch and complain. That's why I can't take a baseball bat. Yeah. And get their attention. So you can hit them. Right. Put a dent in their fucking head. Thanks a lot, John. Weren't you working on something over here? Yeah. Well, let's get her done, dude. Got a lot of stuff in there to paint. All right. All right, but thank you. Okay, we'll see you later. I got a lot of work to do on the Buick in the middle of the summer. It's hotter than hell, and uh, I want to get this bitch done.
teaching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.